Welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to use Metasploit framework that comes in Kali Linux pre-installed, the framework that is used by professional cybersecurity analysts. And we are looking uh, that how we can actually use that framework like a professionals and uh, wasting further more time. Let's get started. So first of all, turn on your Kali Linux virtual machine. main screen of the Kali Linux. Let's uh, open up the terminal. Another terminal. Okay, cool. And now let's start MSF console by typing MSF console command. We are also going to take a look on MSF Venom in a couple of minutes once we have explored the MSF console. okay there we are so the first command we are actually going to look at is the banner command it's not actual actually very much useful but what it does it actually prints out the random banners the, the show command what we are going to see is actually the show command show and the type you want to see i want to see how much encoders are available in the metasploit framework so i am going to type show encoders it showed me the encoder there are 44 encoders and uh, all of their ranks and check that whether they are checked or not and the description along with that so uh, what i am going to see is the shikata ganai i have actually heard a lot of hype on the internet and a lot of people were talking about that so in this video we are actually going to take a look on shikata ganai uh, it is an encoder so what i am going to do is typing the search command to search for the encoder search the type is encoder encoder and what i want to search is shikata there i got it number three okay i need to copy it Control shift c opening up the text editor yes and the next thing i am going to see is the show you is the payload show payload Okay, there are 947 payloads and what I am going to use in this video is uh, the reverse TCP. There we go. Okay, I want to use this 32. So what I am going to give a command is the id of this what is its id it's 32 so what i'm going to say is use 32 rather than typing the whole the payload path uh, actually i need to copy this because we are going to see msf venom uh, we are going to create msf venom payload in the upcoming couple of minutes so i have pasted this and next i am going to use is the this and I uh, want to see the information of the module. What I am going to do is I am going to type the info command and it will show me the, all the information of the particular module, the name of the author and uh, who created it. And actually there is an admin email who have created it. It's provided by OGVVs and uh, L host and L port are required. Okay, what I am going to do is I am going to type options in order to show me what options should I have provided. L host. L host is the IP address of the computer like Kali Linux machine on which you are actually going to take back the reverse connection from the victim machine. So now I am going to exit it out and uh, what I am going to do is the, uh, I have opened another terminal. In this terminal I am going to see MSF Venom. There we go. MSF Venom and all of its the list command. No, I don't need list. Yes, I actually want to see the formats, which formats are available. MSF Venom minus minus list formats, I guess. Okay, it might take some. There we go. So actually, we are going to execute this payload on our Windows 11 machine. So we need to create an executable, this exe file. So what I am going to tell MSF Venom is MSF Venom payload which payload we want to use is windows sorry there i've actually saved this 
why I need to type myself control C control shift V Windows meter meter reverse TCP and I want to use the encoder and which encoder we have actually selected is this Shikata Ganai encoder copy it paste it over here now give it the L host that we have actually seen in the option which L host I don't know my IP address so I am going to type here if config and there is my IP address and I would copy it straight paste it over here and then L port there are actually 65,000 plus ports available so I am going to use 4667 I don't know why but stiff 4667 and uh, another one L host L port and the output directory I output directory should be the desktop and uh, virus.exe looks cool virus.exe and minus i what is going to do i i will iterate how many times you want to encode your payload so i want to encode it four times because the more you will iterate the more the size it will uh, take so the four is i guess enough so msf venom please show me more help okay what there is the iteration the number of times to encode the payload and the output directory and uh, format format minus f exe encoder everything is fine now we just hit, uh, need to hit enter and it may take some time and now once it is done you can see it's actually saved this is desktop and there is a file uh, now what we uh, need to do is to turn on our ssh server let me check whether it is running or not yes ssh server is running in your case if your ssh server is not in your case if your ssh is not installed just simply type sudo apt install ssh and hit enter on that in my case ssh server is actually running and installed so if in your case it is not installed just type this command sudo apt install ssh and once it is installed just type sudo service okay sorry my bad sudo service ssh star okay it started and once it is started note your ip address which in this case is 192.168.1.0 and 109 i have copied this ip address and came back to the windows terminal let me uh, minimize this screen what i am going to type is we need to do is to minimize the screen and uh, we need to minimize the screen and open up a windows terminal and type in the command ssh the username of the machine and the ip address and to verbose it yes i want to accept the fingerprint password there we go there i am in the uh, kali linux machine and you can see it uh, once i've typed new fetch so i need to uh, exit it Come on, uh, cd desktop. There is our virus.exe file. I need to exit it out. What I want is to copy the path. What I am going to do is print current working directory. There, I got it. Copy it, exit. Now I am exited out from the Kali Linux machine. What I am going to do is I am going in the documents folder and opening up the document Windows Explorer. There I am. What I am now going to do is typing the command scp to copy the file from where from this machine scp to copy it from my kali linux windows v where is that there you go.
to copy it from the Kali Linux machine and the path that we have seen the path that we have seen previously and I want to save it in the current working directory so I am hitting the dot and enter password for that it's not a regular file oh I'm uh, sorry I just forgot to put the virus.exe there we go there we have that file oh microsoft windows defender had actually directed this just means the shikata ganai is just uh, not worth to use as as a continuously cyber threats are increasing the amount of load and pressure on the cyber security agencies like uh, windows microsoft and uh, the casper sky eset and all the other micro uh, antivirus companies are actually improving their products day by day so it just means that metasploit framework modules no longer works as a standalone and you will have to find a way in order to encode them in such a way that windows is not able to detect window defender actually it is quite easy to uh, bypass windows defender if you uh, focus a little bit and find a good tool you can bypass it but if, if user is using the paid antivirus softwares like Kaspersky and Bitdefender, then I would say it is not easy to make them bypass because they actually analyze the behavior of the file. And this actually, this is actually the problem for the cybersecurity analysts for when it comes to pen testing. So actually, uh, evil hacker, or I would say the black hat hackers are expert in this and it's like nothing for them. Even if they make a lot of changes, the Kaspersky and other antivirus software, even if they make a lot of changes, still a black hat hacker would say, okay, I'm going to hack it, it's nothing. So you need to become master in this. So actually we have explored MSF console in this video. If uh, the victim is using the old version of the computer like uh, Windows XP and Windows 7, then it might be easier to bypass because Microsoft is offering no longer updates to that. That's it for the today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.